Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. First of all, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying sane and safe and finding something that you enjoy doing during these times. I feel like makeup is one of those things that kind of like picks me up, kind of pick makes me feel a little bit better when I'm physically feeling like, uh. I did an Instagram live not too long ago and you guys said you wanna see a video of me doing like a full face of my favorite makeup products. Like basically my staples, stuff that I just like makeup that I use all the time, I can't live without. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. It's gonna be a little chatty. Okay. Make sure you grab your favorite snack or if you wanna do your makeup with me, that's fine too. Let's dive into the video. I'm just gonna clip my hair back so nothing gets on it. I've had my weave in for about two months now and it still looks pretty decent and good. She is holding on and maintaining and thriving, but it's gonna be time to let her go soon. I'm sad about that because I really, this hair is so easy. It's so easy to maintain. I don't wanna get rid of it because then it's gonna be back to trying to figure out like what am I gonna do? And plus I love the ease of waking up and I have a hairstyle, you know what I'm saying? Like I just literally get up comb it out and go but that's gonna end soon so first let me take these eye little masks off actually if you want to know what eye mask i'm wearing it's by peter thomas roth it's this one right here it's their water drench hyaluronic cloud hydro gel eye patches if you wanted to get yourself some eye patches for your eyes i like it especially when i need a little pick me up under my eye if it's feeling kind of dry or something next i'm going to moisturize because i haven't done that yet so i'm going to use one of my favorite moisturizers especially right now at the moment this is my favorite moisturizer it's by charlotte tilbury it is their instant turnaround moisturizer actually let me know if you want me to do a skincare video all right so now it's time to prime i'm going to use this milk hydro grip primer this has been my go-to primer for a while now and i really really love it and I just kind of like press it into my skin. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna show you guys two of my favorite foundations that I've been using for a while now, especially last year, I was using these two together. I just discovered that they were a match made in heaven. I like to cocktail my products because it kind of like gives you a custom feel, a custom look, um, but these together, are everything this is the Clinique even better foundation it has SPF 15 in it and this one is the Juvia's Place I am magic foundation and I am in the shade 340 Kampala in this one and I am in the shade W9 114 golden in the Clinique so these two right here together I'm telling you my skin just looks amazing oh but before I do that I like to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and kind of like erase any shine because I do have oily combo skin and sometimes especially when you're mixing products or just in general because it's starting to get warmer now my skin tends to get a little bit more oily so I just like to put a little bit of this on I do not like a lot of product on my face at all and I just like to pat this into any areas where I would get the most shine like around my nose basically t-zone area is where I get the most shine. Instantly it takes down the shine and it gives you like nice lightweight coverage. Like if you wanted to just go outside with like literally no makeup on and just get away with wearing this, this is totally like a step that I've done and do sometimes. And it just makes you look like you have like, kind of like blurred even skin. So now onto the foundation, which I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> these days I have not been feeling like wearing makeup. So it feels good to put some on, but honestly you guys, I don't know about y'all but i am ready for a change <laughs> i am ready for a change that's probably too much foundation i feel like every time i go light-handed with this it still ends up being too much but i try to not put as much of that foundation because that juvia's place is very strong okay very thick but anyways yes i'm ready for a change y'all i don't know if it has to do with what's going on or if it's because i'm pregnant I just, I just been itching for a change. I have been itching for a change. But both of these together blend out so well. I was looking at a few of my older videos from like 2016, um, a few from 2017, and I was like, what was I doing with my makeup? Why was I putting so much product on? Like, I don't know if it was like that era of makeup on like social media. But I feel like everybody was just wearing a lot of it. 
it was like the more foundation, the more eye makeup, the better. And I'm like, it low key ages you, and it just it does not look right. I was like, girl, what was you? What what are you doing? Why are you putting so much makeup on? I wanted to reach in through the screen and just wipe the side of my face off. I really did. It was just too much. Now it's on to concealers, and I'm gonna be using this one by Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. You guys have seen me use this a thousand and million times, if that's even a number. But you've seen me <laughs> use this a lot because it's my favorite and this video is about using my favorite makeup so yeah I wear this all the time I'm gonna go in with chestnut first and use this for coverage like to cover up any like darkness under the eye that's all I use this one for so I'm kind of gonna let this dry down a little bit and then I'm going to blend that out but as I was saying I, I don't know if it's like hormonal like and when I mean change I just need a change of atmosphere I need a change of environment. I need, I just need a change. I was talking to my husband about this last night. There's so much going on and I'm telling y'all with being pregnant during this time, it's like on top of being pregnant, you know, pregnancy has its own separate thing. And then on top of going through all of this, it's just like team too much sometimes. It's literally team too much. A lot of you guys were sharing your stories with me about what you're going through right now and I feel like everyone is going through something but it's how you handle it. Like I may get frustrated at times but I don't allow it to consume me. I think it's only human to be frustrated sometimes about certain things and, a lot, and the th especially the things that are out of your control because you can't do anything about it but those are the things that you should not stress over because you can't change in no way. <laughs> so what is the point of stressing over stuff you can't change? I I vent, I get it out, you know, and then I go pray about it and move on with my life. And so that is what I'm in the process of doing now. I don't know. I just feel like my, my tolerance level for certain things is like at an all time low. I just don't have the energy for it. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. I'm just so focused on, you know, just like a change for me and my my uh, family. One thing about when you have to wait on God you're not in control of that waiting period at all. Like you don't get to dictate when it happens or anything. Like the, the trust is what tries your patience because you have to just believe that it's gonna happen. You have to have that faith that it's gonna happen. But when you're already hormonal, it's kind of hard. You know, like you'll be strong one day and then the next day you're like, oh, but Lord. I feel like I'm a, I'm not as like the strong Jessica that I am when I'm not pregnant because obviously, you know, hormones and different things like that. You're more emotional and all of that jazz. But see how that instantly like gave me a little. So now I'm going to highlight with butterscotch and I use this for highlighting for the color to give me that brightening effect. And then on another hand, I try not to complain because honestly, I could be in a whole lot worse situation during this time. I mean, there's people literally that they don't know what their next day is going to look like. Like they, they don't have a place to live or they don't have a job. They don't have money for food. They don't have anything and it's hard. And I think everyone is being affected in different ways. But I also believe that it's a time where like a self-reflecting time and a time where God's really trying to like pull at your attention because let's be let's keep it 100. A lot of times stuff we're so inundated with things around us and what's going on and just normal life's busyness that we forget about our time with God. Like especially when things are going like amazing. When things are amazing, it's like you tend to forget about God. And then as soon as things start getting bad, it's like, Lord, where art thou? And now all of a sudden we got a lot to say to him. And sometimes God, I feel, allows things to happen to like yank you and get you to sit down so that you can hear him. So you can focus on what's really important so that you can hear his will and his plan for your life. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just need to be sat down. This is a time where the entire world is being sat down and where we all have to reevaluate our life, reevaluate our decisions, reevaluate this walk, like what's important. Think about it really quick. This is the one thing that has hit everyone the same way 
and no one is exempt from it period like no one is exempt from going through this which tells us that there's no one more special than the other the things that we put importance on it's like i don't know if it's reminding you but it's reminding it's reminding me that that stuff is not important like period even the people like you know on social media everybody wants to brag about what they have and they want to show off their stuff but when you're hit with something like that you realize like that stuff does not matter period and i think this is a time where god is showing us like we've put a lot of things before him we should be asking him during this time like lord what what is important to you right now what should what should be what should my mind be on what should be my concern what should be on my heart right now like ask him for that so that worry and panic and none of that other stuff you know sets in okay so i blended that out it looks really good she looks very set so now i'm actually going to set with my laura mercier translucent setting powder i've not put this down this is a staple i've had this for a little, 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 little long time it lasts for a while too which is good so if you are wanting to not spend that much money on makeup because like i mean i know we're shopping now but we're not shopping shopping <laughs> so this bad boy has lasted me for a very long time so i'm excited about that because i don't have to keep buying products over and over again so i just take this and put it right under my eye i feel like sometimes we can put circumstances circumstances and situations we make that so difficult. It's so difficult in our own head that we think sometimes that it's too hard for God. And we forget that he is G-O-D. Like he is God for a reason. Like this, this is not hard. Nothing is too hard for him. You need to remind yourself of that. So that helped me feel so much better. And when I tell you that God has supplied all of my needs, like whatever I needed, we've not had a shortage of anything. I'm going to go in with my favorite powder this one is by sephora this is their micro smooth powder if you've been following me for a while i started using this back in 2016 and i've not stopped wearing this powder so it's my favorite it's so smooth it just makes my skin look just so nice you know so nice and airbrushed like let's keep it 100 let's keep it all the way above although i'm like a private person i'm very honest about things because i feel like what is there to not be honest about you know, as a self-employed, as a self-employed person, this is extre it's extremely hard and worrisome at times because you're like, you don't know where your income is going to come. And it has affected everyone's income. So like people you see on the Internet, it's affected their income in a big way because of, you know, some companies have closed down their distribution centers. What am I using right now? Oh, some companies have um just like pulled out and said you know we're gonna hold off right now because you know due to the climate due to the time or whatever and that affects your income or whatever like let's just keep it 100 just like people who have regular jobs are affected by this their jobs have closed down you don't think it's affecting people who have who are self-employed or in, independent contractors like it's affecting every week everyone no one is exempt like i said before i'm going in with my favorite bronzer this is by Fenty. this is the bronzer in the shade mocha mommy oh i love this so much actually I, the last time i was talking about this i remember telling you guys that i lost it and i couldn't find it but i found her and i'm so excited because now i can get that true glow that true glow. you see the color path already oh my god i love it truth be told some of us needed to be sat down and be and and humbled by this experience because too many times I, and i see it on the internet where people put so much into what they have like everything's about what i have what i drive where i live who i'm with what i wear who i know like it's it's so superficial and i'm not gonna even lie like that has turned me off from youtube like when i tell you i don't really i don't watch really anyone on youtube anymore because i feel like sometimes it's so superficial and i just and i just i just can't i can't do that like dang if i don't even want to see it in my real life i don't want to see it on my you know my downtime <laughs> all that flossing and all that you know valuing and materializing things and putting so much into that you know now this time if this time doesn't teach you that none of that stuff matters at the end of the day then i don't know what will i don't i don't know how else you would learn this should teach you to be humble and we need to be humbled at times all of us myself included you need to be humbled at times 
you need to be reminded that you are not all that. I'm going in with the shade um, Coco Naughty in the same Fenty bronzer, but this one's just a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to put this to kind of set and add some depth to my nose. This is by ColourPop. I love these no filter sheer press powders and I'm going to use this shade dark. This is actually a perfect shade for me because it's not dark on me. It's like just right. And I like to set this just to make that highlighted area pop just a bit more before I kind of like melt everything together. It just adds a little, like not too much color, but the right amount of color. Now I'm going to go in with my blush and I have two of my favorites by MAC. They both kind of look like this, the same shade, but one has a little bit of shimmer and one's a little bit deeper. So this shade, the first shade that I'm going to go in with is actually Raisin by MAC. This is an OG, like she is an OG, okay? She has been around and I love her because she's just so moody look at her just being her and then i like to go in with this one by mac this is their mineralized skin finish in the shade highlight the truth love this one she gives a nice color and sheen to the face next i'm going to go in with my highlighter and when i tell you you're going to learn today that this is a favorite first of all let me open her and i don't want her to fall sis she is and my nails are a hot mess, whatever. Anyway, she is, look, look, she has been used, used up. She needs some prayer. When I tell you she is my staple, let me tell you guys the name first. This is the, oh Lord, so she's falling apart already. This is by MAC. This is their Glow With It um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish. The shade is Glow With It. <laughs> but ugh, I got to buy another one of these. I have to. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. And I feel like it doesn't pick up texture. It just kind of like glides over it. I don't know how. And it's just the perfect like sheen and highlight. Take her on this side and I do the same thing. I went ahead and did my brows off camera, but the products that I love for my brows are the Baby Hair Brow Pencil by Oma Beauty and also the Fro To Go Brow Pencil by Oma Beauty. I use this to shape my brows and I use this to fill it in because it's super fine and I love these two brow products. They have been my staple since they launched actually because I went to their the launch party for this. Love them. They were like my literal staple brow products. So, Oh and also the brow gel. So all three of these, all three of them for my eyebrows. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow, I'm just going to go back into that Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. For eyeshadow, I'm going to go into this Tarte palette. And when I tell you, this is like my most used eyeshadow palette ever. It's the Tartelet in Bloom. Like I said, if you've been following me for a while, you know that this is a favorite. I've been talking about this for years now. And I've had her for years. Don't judge me, but she still works. So that all that that's all that matters. But anyways... You can see her very used. Of course, my favorite shades are like almost gone in the entire palette. But anyways, I'm going to go in with a blending brush. I'm going to go into the shade Rebel and just use that as my transition color. Who else is ready for grooming services to open up? Like when I tell you the struggle of trying to groom yourself when your belly is overlapping your parts so you can't see anything, it's a struggle. I am so appreciative for all of you personal grooming technicians out there. Okay, my feet miss you, my hands miss you, and my parts. My parts miss you. I literally try to give myself a Brazilian. I can't see what I'm doing. My stomach is literally covering everything. I can't see. Can't see anything. So I'm sitting there burning myself because I couldn't see anything. Tragic. I'm just, I just can't wait to get it professionally done again. Oh, I didn't even tell you what shade. I'm going into this shade, Firecracker. So she's like a shimmery shade. And that's what I put on my lid. And so I'm basically showing you guys, like, this is like my, when I'm wearing makeup, my go-to look. Every girl has that go-to look that she does. This is mine. Now I'm going to go into the shade Funny Girl. And she's like a light champagne. And I use this for my inner corner highlight. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You guys always ask me like, oh, Jessica, what do you use for your inner corner highlight? How do you get it to pop? How do you get it so bright? Boom. 
that's how. Then I'm gonna go back into that shade Rebel and I'm gonna use that for my under eye area. Who else has kids? I know a lot of you are moms. Well, maybe not a lot of you, but I don't know. <laughs> but I know a few of you guys are moms. Who else has a child or children that can sometimes drive them crazy? Hi, Kai. Hi. What's up? Good. I'm, I'm filming right now. Mommy's pregnant. <laughs> So next I'm going to line my eyes and I'm just going to use a brown liner by Revlon. Normally I use a black, brown, it doesn't matter, either one of them works. And I'm just going to slightly like line and wing my eyes slightly with this pencil by Kat Von D. And it's in the shade Trooper. Okay, so lashes are applied. I use the Salon Perfect Lashes in the style of 652. And normally I don't wear lashes because it's just kind of extra for me. I normally just put on mascara, but I felt like being extra today. And I think they're really cute. Like, they're really flirty. I thought they would be, like, super dramatic, but they're actually not. In the in the packaging, it looks dramatic, but they're really subtle and just kind of, like, fluttery and, f and flirty. So now we are going to move on to our lips. My favorite lip to do is like a mauve nude lip. And this is my favorite lip pencil. So we're going to line them first. I'm going to take my lip pencil. I've had this for a while. And the reason being is because I think they discontinued it. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade K. Is it K? Yeah, K. And they discontinued this one. So I'm trying to hold on to her, but she's so pretty. Okay, so for my lipstick today, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade French Made. And NYX makes some of the best lip products. This one I've had, this is like, oh my god, this is like an OG. You guys are always asking me about my lip products, like literally. And I use like NYX and this shade French Made. She's far from a maid, watch. Isn't that cute? I love this color. It just gives you like a pout. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Cabaret Show just for like the center. And these feel so comfortable on the lips, like so comfortable. That is all for the lips. I love that color. Like this is my go-to lip. So for those who always ask me, girl, what are you wearing? Those are the products that I wear for this type of look. So next, I'm going to set my face, but first, but first, I'm gonna grab my good old bonnet because we don't need, no, my edges are already frizzy, but we don't need no problems. So I'm gonna use my favorite setting spray. This one is by Lancome. This is their Fix It, Forget It setting spray. Oh, the face is looking so beat today. Look at this quarantine beat, nowhere to go. And just get it all up in there all right you guys this is the completed look we are done we are ready to head to the kitchen or the bedroom or the bathroom that's our eventful life right now but i love this look this is like literally my go-to makeup minus the lashes but when i want to like put on makeup this is what i wear i hope you guys like this video and let me know if you tried any of the products that I've used today. Are any of them your staples as well? I mean, you might as well add a few because as you can see, this look is a banger. Because just because we're in quarantine on lockdown does not mean we have to look like it. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this little look. And also leave me video suggestions, y'all. Like, what would you like to see on my channel? I know YouTube is extremely saturated, so I I'm extremely grateful for those who continue to watch my content and who still support my channel. But let me know, like voice, voice it, girl. Use your voice and type down below what type of videos you want to see from me on my channel. And that is pretty much all. I think I talked enough and a lot in this video. I'll share this video with a friend. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Give it, this video a like and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!